Tetrodotoxin is a potent neurotoxin produced by bacteria found in various marine animals, including pufferfish, gobies, and certain shellfish. The toxin is highly concentrated in the liver, ovaries, and skin of these creatures. It is heat-stable, meaning it remains toxic even after cooking. Mechanism of Action Tetrodotoxin exerts its toxic effects by binding to voltage-gated sodium channels in nerve and muscle cells. This binding prevents sodium ions from entering the cells, effectively blocking the transmission of nerve impulses. As a result, the toxin causes paralysis and also impacts vascular smooth muscle and skeletal muscle function. Symptoms of Tetrodotoxin Poisoning Symptoms of tetrodotoxin poisoning typically appear within 10 to 45 minutes after ingestion, though they can be delayed for up to three hours. The severity of symptoms depends on the amount of toxin ingested. Initial symptoms often include tingling and numbness around the mouth and extremities, dizziness, weakness, nausea, vomiting, and loss of reflexes. Symptom grades. Tetrodotoxin poisoning symptoms can be categorized into four grades. Grade one involves mild neuromuscular and gastric symptoms, such as headache, pupil constriction, sweating, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Grade two is characterized by early motor paralysis and a lack of coordination. Grade three includes severe neuromuscular symptoms like ataxia, dysphagia, dysarthria, nerve palsy with tremors, heart and lung dysfunction, cardiac arrhythmias, and hypotension. Grade 4 represents the most severe form of toxicity, with respiratory paralysis, delirium, severe hypotension, and potentially death. Diagnosis Diagnosing tetrodotoxin poisoning is challenging due to the lack of readily available laboratory tests. Diagnosis is primarily clinical, relying on the patient's history of consuming suspect seafood and the presence of characteristic symptoms. There are no specific biomarkers or rapid tests to confirm the presence of tetrodotoxin in the body. Treatment There is no specific antidote for tetrodotoxin poisoning. Treatment is supportive and focuses on managing symptoms and maintaining vital functions. Airway management including mechanical ventilation if necessary, is critical. Intravenous fluids and close monitoring of vital signs are also essential. In some cases, gastric lavage and activated charcoal may be administered, particularly if the patient presents within one hour of ingestion. Some case reports suggest that anticholinesterase medications, such as edrophonium or neostigmine, may partially reverse paralysis in certain patients. Prognosis. The prognosis for tetrodotoxin poisoning can be severe, with mortality rates ranging from 13.5% to 30%. Early recognition of symptoms and prompt initiation of supportive care are key factors in determining patient outcomes. The amount of toxin ingested also plays a significant role in the severity of the condition. Prevention. Preventing tetrodotoxin poisoning involves avoiding the consumption of pufferfish and other species known to harbor the toxin. Public education about the dangers of these species is essential. In regions where pufferfish is considered a delicacy, such as Japan, strict regulations govern its sale and preparation. Only trained and licensed chefs are permitted to prepare pufferfish, reducing the risk of poisoning. Environmental and Public Health Implications Tetrodotoxin poisoning highlights the interconnectedness of environmental and human health. It underscores the importance of public awareness regarding the risks of consuming certain seafood. Responsible fishing and seafood handling practices are necessary to minimize the risk of poisoning and protect public health. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.